Good day everyone. Welcome to our science class. Our topic for today is all about the moon. Last meeting we discussed about constellations and we defined constellations that are groups of stars that appears to form different shapes or patterns in the sky. The examples of constellations that we discussed last meeting are the following. We have the Ursa Major, the Orion, the Ursa Minor, the Cassiopeia, the Sinus, the Andromeda, the Canis Major, and the Canis Minor. So this time, let's now proceed with our topic which is all about the moon. Have you ever made wishes while gazing at the moon? How did you feel? As we look up in the sky, the moon is one of the most familiar and interesting object in the night sky. Despite its nearness to earth, however, the origin and the nature of the moon have been elusive. Only with the advances in telescope and spacecraft technology over the past 100 years have people begun to understand the moon. You have probably observed how the moon's apparent shape changes from day to day. Sometimes you can see a full around moon low in the sky. And other times, only half of the moon is visible and it's high in the sky at sunset. And sometimes, the moon is visible during the day. Why does the moon look the way it does? What causes it to change its appearance and position in the sky? So in this lesson, you will be able to describe the characteristics of the moon. Next is to infer the pattern in the changes in the appearance of the moon. So this time, let's know more about moon, about its movement, about its origin, and about those beliefs. So, the moon is the nearest neighbor of Earth in outer space. Aside from that, it is called the satellite of Earth because it revolves around the Earth. So, it also, its size has a diameter of about 3,476 km, which is about one-fourth the diameter of the Earth. Aside from that, moon is made up of rocks and soil but no water. So take note of that. Aside from that, its gravity is six times less than Earth's gravity. So you would feel like floating on the surface of the moon because of its weaker gravity compared to Earth. So talagang pag pumunta ka dun sa moon, nag-land ka dun sa moon, mag-ano ka, mag-float ka because of gravity. Mm, negative or less than Earth's gravity. So the moon's surface has mountains and craters. So yung surface ng moon natin is composed of mountains and uh, craters. So According to astronomers, they believe that the moon had been formed about 4.6 billion years ago, just like Earth. Um, it was discovered by um, the, um, the Apollo missions, yung project kung saan pumunta sila mismo doon sa, sa moon by the Russian spacecraft Luna 3 in 1959. Aside from that, the exploration on the moon's surface has shown it to be cold, barren, and lifeless. Temperature may range from 130 degrees Celsius at lunar noon to negative 175 degrees Celsius at night. Evidence shows that there is no atmosphere that can create different weather and forces of wind and water that can cause weathering of the lunar surface. So therefore, the rocks and rock formations have remained almost unchanged. So may mga formation, rock formations doon because there are mountains and there are also craters. So, sino kaya yung unang tao doon? So sabi niya dito, 
That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. So, that is according or the words comes from the astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the moon. So, siya yung kauna-unahang tao na nakaapak sa moon. So, kasama niya doon si, um, si Edwin Buzz Aldrin. Sumunod si, si Edwin. Pero ang unang umapak, dalawa sila sa mission, pero ang unang umapak ay si Neil Armstrong. So, the moon shines by reflecting sunlight from its surface. So, as the moon orbits Earth, it appears to have different shapes, isn't it? So, these are called the faces of the moon. So, the moon's faces are the changing appearance of the moon as seen from Earth. These are the faces of the moon. And this is the sun. So, let's talk about its faces of the moon. So, faces of the moon, the first one is we have the new moon. So, that is in day one. So, the moon lies between earth and the sun. The half of the moon lighted by the sun faces away from earth. Thus, you cannot see any of the moon's lighted part. Hence, called the dark side dark side of the moon so dark lamp that is the first the day one which is the new moon next we have the day three the waxing crescent what is crack what is waxing kaya what's waxing so it, it says here that the face that is more than new moon but less than the first quarter it is named for its c y c c shape the moon is on the third day of its trip on its orbit. So, waxing means growing larger. So, unti-unti na siyang palaki ng palaki yung nakikitang light. So, partially nakikita natin is letter C. That is in day 3, waxing crescent. Next, we have the first quarter. Oh, as you can see the diagram, that is the first quarter. Half na yung nakikita. That is in day 7. So in day 7, half of the moon's lighted surface is seen on Earth after one week from the new moon's face. It shows that only one half of the lighted part is reflected to Earth. So ang nakikita natin ngayon ay letter D na. Half na yung nakikita nating light liwanag. Next, number 4 phase is waxing gibos that is day 11 as i have said a while ago waxing means getting bigger or getting larger lumalaki na yung nakikita natin um light so it is the phase in which the visible lighted part is more than the first quarter but less than the full moon gibos means hump shape mm. next Number 5, we have the full moon, that is in day 14. So, when the moon is halfway of its orbit, the half part becomes fully lighted and is reflected to Earth. You can see the round lighted moon on Earth. So, pag nasa Earth ka, makikita mo na ngayon yung moon na apakalaki na. It's already full moon. Next, we have waning gibos. Ano naman kayo ibig sabihin ng waning? So that is in day 17. The moon begins to wane or shrink because the sun begins to shine on the western edge. So the visible lighted part becomes smaller in which it is less than full moon but more than third quarter. Waning means growing smaller. So, liliit naman na ngayon yung light na makikita natin pag nas tayo ay nasa Earth. Number 7 is the third quarter or the last quarter. That is in day 21. Sabi niya dito, also referred to as the last quarter phase. The moon has already moved 3 fourth of its orbit 
and has reached day 21 of its trip. The amount of lighted part that is reflected to Earth becomes smaller. So only half of the lighted part of the moon facing Earth can be seen. So tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, kalahati na rin ulit yung makikita natin na light. Kasi papa, wala na yung light. Kawaning na siya. And then, number 8 is the warning present that is in day 24. So in day 24, on this phase, only a small portion of the lighted part facing Earth can be seen. The moon is less than the third quarter, but more than new moon. So, konti na lang, yung maliit na lang na na C ang makikita natin sa warning present. So, next is, babalik ulit tayo sa new moon, which is in the day 29. At mag start rin ulit tayo dyan sa new moon, that is day 1. So, that is the cycle, or that is the phases of the moon. Okay, did you get it? So, next, Let's proceed to what you call eclipse. What's this eclipse all about? So, occurs when one object moves into the shadow cast by another object. We have two types. We have the lunar eclipse and we have the solar eclipse. First to discuss what is lunar. So, lunar eclipse, when the moon is full, it may pass into the shadow of Earth. Observers on Earth can see the full moon become temporarily darkened as it passes through the Earth's shadow. So in other words, the Earth is in between the sun and the moon. That is the lunar eclipse as seen in the diagram. Next, we have solar eclipse. So during new moon, the moon may cast a shadow onto Earth. Observers within that shadow on Earth see the sky turn dark as the moon blocks out the sun. So, the moon, it is, is in between the sun and the Earth. That is the solar eclipse as shown in the diagram. Next, we have beliefs and practices of people associate with the moon. <coughs> the first one is farmers depend on the occurrence of full moon and new moon for the right time to plant and harvest. Next beliefs and practices. People also refer to moon's movement and faces when constructing houses, cutting down of trees, or opening up a new project of businesses. Number three, people also associate the moon with crimes, suicides, accidents, births, and deaths. They believe that the frequency of their occurrence rise and fall with the moon's movement, which brings about the phases of the moon. Four, people also believe that the people that the moon relates to weather, just like reddish moon is a sign that we could expect wind ahead. A ring round the moon will bring rain in three days. A halo of watery colors around the moon signals that the weather will be changeable. Next, a single ring around the moon that quickly disappears would bring fine weather. So that's all beliefs that associated with the moon. So we have another beliefs. We have also crimes and accidents usually happens during full moon. The full moon is associated with human madness. Next, the faces of the moon is associated with suicide deaths. Next, the moon can cause earthquakes. Next, the light of the moon affects the fertility of women. Next, it is wrong to point the moon for it will bring bad luck. So those are the beliefs and the practices of people associate with the moon. So this time, let's answer the following question. So read each item carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. <music> 